after this chapter, we are going to start Halo algorithms, right? Yes, sir. Okay, you have uh, completed Halo algorithms. Uh, no, no, sir. They are doing. Okay, which chapter you have already completed? Uh, what, sir? Now, which chapter have you completed except uh, this? Only, only these two chapters. Only this, this two chapter. That means the third chapter is going on, right? Yes, sir. So only solution and electrochemistry. And 11th chapter is going on. Hello, can I? Okay. What is the topic that is going on? Uh, physical properties of alloy canal. Chemical properties. Yes, sir. Chemical properties. Uh, in chemical property, which reaction is going on? Like uh, you have studied about SN1, SN2? Yes, sir. You finished the uh, reaction with metals, the lignol reaction. Metals. That means you are done with elimination reaction. Yes, sir. Okay. No problem. Please go for this question. Very easy question it is. Harif, will you be able to solve this? Uh, I can. Very good, Shahid. You have got the right answer. Very good, Farif. Madiha, are you there? Yes, sir. Good evening. So I have given a question based on cells, batteries basically. Uh, please do solve that. You can send me the correct option in the chat box.
pentane oxygen fuel cell is there. So at a node, pentane will be oxidized and at cathode oxygen will be reduced. I'll show you the reaction. Nadi, are you done with the question number 60? So still going. Okay. Okay. I don't sorry. Shahid, any answer for the question number 61? Arif. Okay, let me know if you're not able to solve this. Okay, Shahid. Madhya, have you solved question number 60? Yes or no? Yes, sir. What is the answer? Uh, sir, is it D? It's D. Yeah, it is D. Never doubt yourself. Whatever you do, do it with confidence. Otherwise, you will get negative marking. Okay? If you have any misconception in this question, let me know. You just need to calculate the E0 cell. And you know E0 cell is equal to what? E0 cathode minus E0 anode. Minus E0 anode. You know how you are going to recognize whether which one is uh, in odd cathode and in odd anode. So it's very simple. You know, uh, you can see the at cathode there is reduction. You know that at anode there is oxidation. So you can see here zinc is oxidizing and Ag is reducing. So uh, Ag is reduction. So basically at cathode Ag will be at cathode. So what is the value for Ag at cathode? You can see it is 0 0.34 electron volt. So you are going to write it here 0 0.34 minus. At anode, what is the value? 
you can see the value is minus 0 0.76 and it is at an odd. So you just need to write 0 0.76 and then you are going to add them because minus minus plus and the value will be 1.104. Is that clear both of you, all of you? Okay, uh, moving to the next question, which is uh, very easy. If you have studied uh, thermodynamics from class 11, see, what is the question? First of all, you have to write an equation. Just wait a minute. Okay, this is your question. And what does it say? A standard free energy of formation at 298 Kelvin, a standard free energy of CO2 is given minus 273, 37.2 uh, kilojoule per mole. And uh, sorry, it is for H2O. It is for H2O, it is this. And for CO2, it is minus 394.54. And for pentane, it is given minus 8.2 kilojoule per mole. Whatever it is, you can take it. Okay. In kilojoule per mole, it's given the unit. Now, the value of E0 cell for the pentane oxygen fuel cell. If you have studied uh, in fuel cell, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell, I have uh, taught you this part. Yes or no? No, I haven't taught it. You have studied this. Yes or no? In uh, commercial cell? Shahid, Sarif, Madiha. H2O2 cell. You have studied this, right? No reply. Am I audible to all of you? Yes. Sir. Okay. Now you can see pentane oxygen. So what will happen? We need to write the equation. Equation is very important. If you are going to write the oxygen, this pentane basically it is at an odd. That means at an odd oxidation takes place. What is the formula of pentane? C5H12. And it is present in water. So water will be there as well. And it will oxidize itself. This will be converted into CO2 plus CO2 is an acid. So there will be H plus as well as electron. If I'm going to balance it, we need to write it here. 10 h 20 And in order to balance the Hydrogen, you can see uh, 10 to the 20 plus 12, 32. So I'm going to write 32 here. And in order to balance carbon, I need to write 5 here. And you can see to balance electron, basically but to balance charge. There is no charge on the left hand side, zero charge. And on the right hand side, to make it zero charge, I need to write 32 electron. Is that clear? There will be oxidation of this. Please do respond. Shahid, Harif, Madiha. No response. Am I audible? Shahid. Okay. Thank you, Madiha. Now, at cathode, at cathode, whatever loss of number of electron is here, it will be gained by oxygen. See how it will be gained. O2 and this. H plus will come in contact and this 32 electron will be gained by this and it will be converted into water. So to balance it, I'm directly writing uh, 16 H2O and to balance this, I'm going to write 32 H plus and you can see 8 O2. So this is the reaction at anode and this is the reaction at cathode. Now I'm going to write overall reaction, overall reaction. If you are going to write overall reaction, you can see C5, H12 will be there. Now, one thing you can see, this and this will be cancelled and this and this will be also cancelled. And here it will be uh, 8O2. Here it will be 8O2. That will give you 5CO2 plus. Now you can see 10H2O on the left hand side and 16H2O on the right hand side. When 10H2O from left hand side moves to right hand side, it will be uh, subtracting and uh, you will have 6H2O left. So this is your overall equation. This is your overall equation. Are you getting my point? Yes or no? Yes. Now, 
you need to uh, you need to calculate e not cell and there is a formula for e not cell that is delta g not is equal to n f e not cell now wh why i'm doing this you know basically we need to uh, we know n n is what there is loss or gain of 32 electrons so n will be 32 and we already know the value of f that is 96500 coulomb and we need to calculate e not cell so we also need this delta g not and this delta g not can be easily calculated with the help of thermodynamics uh, the concept from thermodynamics as this so basically if you want to calculate delta g not of reaction delta g not of reaction this will be equal to sigma delta g not of product minus sigma Sorry, I got disconnected. Am I audible clearly? Shahid, Arif, and Madhya, am I audible clearly? Yes. Okay. So what I was saying is that delta G naught of reaction we need to calculate. And this has a formula delta G naught of product minus delta G naught of reactant. And we have two products, you can see CO2 and H2O. And for one mole of CO2, it is given in the question that it is minus 394.4. And there are five moles of CO2. That's why I have to wait a minute. Uh, disturbance in network. network. Uh, yes. Uh, so there is five moles. That's why I multiplied it by five. Now you can see there is six moles of H2O and the value of uh, delta G naught for H2O is given as uh, what was the value? Let me check it. 237 minus 237.2. This was the value. This is for product minus reactant. For uh, If you are going for reactant, you can see you have two reactants, C5H12, uh, which uh, the value of delta G0 of um, pentane is also given. And there is only one mole and the value is one mole given. So you can see it will be 8.2. Now this O2, Cl2, N2, this has value equals to zero. So we don't need to write about O2. And you just need to calculate this delta G naught reaction. Okay. So after calculating, you will be getting, uh, you will get 3387000 joules. Are you getting my point, all of you? After solving it, you will get this. Yes. Am I audible? 
Yes, sir. Okay, now you have calculated delta G naught reaction. Now you can easily apply delta G naught is equal to minus NF E naught cell. Now you know the value of this. I already told you the value of N is 32. The value of F you already know. You can easily calculate E naught cell. Please do calculate and let me know. Very simple it is. E naught cell will be equal to delta G naught upon NF. And there is negative sign as well. Okay, that will be converted into positive. Uh, positive. If you will go through it, please do. It is basically minus minus three lakhs thirty-eight. No, oh, no, no, thirty-three lakhs thirty-seven thousand. Please do let me know the Any answer? No, A is not the right answer. You have 4.4. Dia, how can it be? There is no option for 4.4. Okay, let me do it for you. Uh, 3387 divided it. Number of electron is 32 and Faraday's law is 96,500 coulomb. Now, what do you need to do? Just cancel this. And you will be with 33870 divided by, if you are going to multiply this 32 into 965, you will be getting 30,880. <clears throat> so if you are going to divide this 33870 divided by 30880, you will be getting 1.0968 volt. So the answer, I think, no, no, both of you were wrong. All of you are so the answer will be <clears throat> C. Please check your mistakes. These are silly mistakes which should not be repeated, which should not be repeated. <clears throat> I think you should uh, you all all of you should take care of it. This multiplication and division. If you are going to do mistakes, 
here, then it is all over. So please be focused whenever you are multiplying and dividing. Dividing. Let me know when you are done with this so that I'm going to give you another question. Please do it fast. We are running slow today in number of questions. <clears throat> done. Dia, have you uh, checked where you have mistaken? Yes. Okay, can I move to the next question? Everyone is not replying. Simon. Uh, this is directly formula based question. If you don't know, just let me know. I'll tell you the formula and we will move to the next question. Simple. That's good. <laughs> uh, Tarif, that's good. So I'm going to tell you, basically, the efficiency of a fuel cell is given by this. If you want to calculate the efficiency, which is denoted by eta, that will be equal to delta G divided by delta H. And I hope you know delta G is gives free energy and delta H is change in enthalpy. So the answer is B. Always remember this. Okay. Shahid, no answer, nothing about this. Please do interact with me. Now, go for question number 65, which is also very, very easy. The most durable metal plating on iron to protect against corrosion is? It's very easy. Very good, Shahid. Can you tell me why it is so? The reason behind it, uh, no, it's wrong. Oh, very good. Madiha or Mohammed Tharif it is. Tharif, it's good now. Can you tell me the reason? Okay, all of sir. you, please. Yeah. Yeah, sir, because uh, in galvanization, you can prevent corrosion. Okay, Tharif, uh, uh, I'm not, not able to hear you clearly. The voice is, uh, uh, there is echo in your voice. So I would like the answer in chat box. Just make it short yeah. and send it to me. Shahid and Madhya, I'm expecting this uh, answer from you as well. I'm going to show you the answer is basically all of you have given the correct answer, which is zinc plate uh, plating. And it is correct because uh, copper plating, tin plating and nickel plating is not uh, a given preference as compared to zinc because it's uh, if you're going to check the oxidation potential, oxidation potential of zinc, it is higher than higher than nickel, copper and tin. Nickel, copper, and tin. Wait a minute. Uh, we use during the process. process. It is most durable metal against oxygen. So this was the question. And this is present in the question. Since oxidation potential of zinc is higher, that's why we use it. Okay. And it can be more effective for the 
iron protection. Is that clear, all of you? Am I audible? Madhya? Yes, sir. Okay. Can we move to the next part? Next question. Okay. So in the previous class, I told you that we are going to have questions on corrosion batteries and revise whole electrochemistry. Now I'm going to take questions from J. Mens. So please be prepared. I think this type of question I have already done in the class. And it's a question from 2015 Mens. Please do it. Any answer? <clears throat> Very good, Tharif. The answer is correct. What about you, Shahid and uh, Madhya? I think I have done this question before. Maybe or may not be. Or you have solved this in class. Madhya, let me know if you are not able to solve this. So? Yes. The answer is B. Yes, it is. What about you? Have you got B, Madhya? Yes, sir. You have got the option B, right? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Shahid, are you there? Yes, sir. What is the answer that you have got? Okay, no answer. <clears throat> Go for question number 18. Very easy question. Let me know if you are 
is it uh, will it be minus 35 uh, 0.35 electron uh, sorry volt or plus 0.35 volt mm -hmm. please correct it uh, mm -hmm. let me check it if you want to go for e naught cell e naught cell will be equal to e naught cathode that means uh, cathode minus e naught anode so for just wait a minute yeah <clears throat> A oh, very good, Madhya. Okay, so cathode and anode and at cathode reduction takes place. So you can see uh, which one is reducing the iron. So what is the value of iron? That is plus uh, uh, 0 0.41 volt. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. You need to write the value here which is in a reduction sir it should have been e, e oxidation basically <clears throat> this is the formula e naught cell is equal to e naught cathode minus e naught anode or sometimes we write e naught is equal to e right minus e left. This is for representation. And also at cathode, a reduction takes place. At a naught, oxidation takes place. But at both the place, we write the value of reduction potential. Is that clear, uh, Shahid? Yes. Sir. <clears throat> so if you are going for <clears throat> e naught, uh, what we say, uh, this uh, uh, look at this carefully. The value of oxidation potential, both of the value for Zn and Fe, oxidation potential is given. So we need to write the reduction potential first. And reduction potential will be minus 0 0.76 volt. And reduction potential of this iron now will also be minus 0 0.41 volt because oxidation potential is given. Now you can see at cathode reduction takes place and reduction of what? Iron. So iron has a value that is given minus 0 0.41 minus you can see the value of uh, for z and which is uh, we need to write the value of reduction potential minus 0 0.76 so if you are going to solve it minus 0 0.41 plus 0 0.76 you will get plus 0 0.35 volt so whenever you are going to calculate the value of e naught cell make sure you are writing the value of reduction potential whether it is at cathode whether reduction is taking place or oxidation is taking place you are going to write the value of reduction potential is that clear tharif and shahid yes sir okay can we move to the next question Uh, this question is related to battery lead storage that you have studied already and i think you can do this easily please do try Very good. Sorry, if any answer from what we say, Shahid and Madhya.
Shahid, any answer? Okay, I'm gonna explain it. It's very easy, Madhya. Madhya, are you there? Yes. Okay, whenever lead is storage, if you will see in your notes, the lead is storage, the overall reaction of lead is storage will be this PB plus PBO2 plus 2H2SO4. That will give you 2PBSO4 plus 2H2. So basically, in this lead storage battery, sulfuric acid is consumed. The rest one will be as it is. Okay, lead is formed, lead sulfate is consumed. No. What is H2SO4 will be consumed. Is that clear? Saida, are you why are you not responding today? <laughs> Question number nineteen C. No, not C, it's D. Lead sulfate is not consumed. H two SO four is consumed. Is that clear, Shahid? Yes. Oh, very good, Tharif. Go for the, uh, all of you go for the next question. Very good, Shahid. Any answer from you, Madhya, for question number 23? One second. Okay, take your time. No, no, not a. It cannot be. Faraday's law of electrolysis are related to if you know M is equal to Z into Q, and if you know Z will be E by F into Q. So this. Faraday's law of electrolysis is related to the equivalent weight. Okay, so the answer will be C. Is that clear? Okay, the next question from 2019 J image, which is very, very easy. <laughs> Madhya, have you got this question number Very good, Tarif. No, have you said B it is? Just wait a minute. Uh, C, you sent me C. 
no it's wrong <clears throat> sorry if it's wrong the decreasing order of electrical conductivity the one which gets uh, the one which will give ions easily that will be more conductivity and that will have more conductivity so see this is your hc double oh this is your ch3 c double oh and this is your ph c double oh now you know that uh, if you remember in organic chemistry acidic character is directly proportional to minus i electron withdrawing group and inversely proportional to plus i plus uh, minus r and plus r inversely proportional the the group which is which has tendency to donate electron will be more uh, sorry less acidic are you getting my point shahid tharif madiha yes okay so hc hc double oh it will be the most acidic why it doesn't have any group which is having plus i effect but ch3 ch3 is methyl group which has tendency of plus i that's why the acidic character decreases if we will go for acidic character now let's say this is your a this is your according to the question this is your b and this is your c so basically a will be more acidic then c then b and if a is more acidic it will give h plus ion easily and the ion generated first will be uh, will have more conductivity and hence it will have more than this and then this this will be the last so the answer that i'm going to write is a not c is that clear thari mm. Uh, what did you say? Uh, can you explain it once more? Uh, just you just need to write the acidic order of this three. Are you getting my point? You just need uh, to write the acidic order. Acidic order. Why? Because if you are uh, if it will give I, uh, H plus ion easily, that means it will start conducting sooner. Is that clear? So basically, this will be the most acidic. Then this, and then this. This will not the give you H plus sooner than this and this. Please go for question number two. If you have studied. Uh, Corlodge's law in that dv Huckel equation, if you remember.
C is the right answer. Arif. Uh, Shahid and Madhya. Let me know if you are able to solve this, yes or no. Shahid and Madhya. So I'm in the second. Second, no, not uh, B. Are you saying that the correct option is B? So it's wrong. I'm going to say, I'm going to uh, draw the uh, graph. You can see this is your lambda M and this is your root C. Now, since you can see it, uh, you can easily recognize this is your NSL, this is your KCL, which is a strong electrolyte. If it is a strong electrolyte, the graph will be a straight line downward. It was, if you remember, I have done this, uh, you have done this in class like this. Now, there is NSL, there is KCL. And this will be dipped in water. If it will be in water, it will be in Na plus aqueous and it will be K plus aqueous. You know, hydration enthalpy or hydration energy. Hydration enthalpy is inversely proportional to size. The one with, which will have lower size or a smaller size will have the highest hydration enthalpy. That means it will be surrounded by, it will be surrounded by more water molecules and hence they will be heavy and if it will be heavy then it is uh, tough to migrate or tough to uh, migrate from one place to another so you can see uh, nacl na since na plus is a smaller in size it will have more hydration enthalpy it will be surrounded by more water and it cannot move as fast as k plus because k plus has larger size and hence it will be surrounded by lesser amount of water and it can uh, migrate faster than NACL. So the answer will be C. You can see if NACL is uh, going slower, so it will have molar conductivity lower than KCL and KCL will have higher. Is that clear? No, more size, more hydration enthalpy. No, no, no. I'm going to write it here. Hydration enthalpy inversely proportional to size. So you know that sodium is smaller than potassium. So sodium will have more hydration enthalpy than potassium. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Can we move to the next question? Madhya, please write the reason behind it. Okay. Moving to the next question, which is also very easy. Degree of dissociation of HA you need to calculate. Please do. No, no, it's not like that, Sahib. See what happens. Uh, I'm going to explain this. This is your Li plus. Li plus, I am writing that means it is in aqueous solution, K plus, and then CS, uh, Rb plus, and then CS plus. Rubidium, Rb plus. Okay. Now see what happens. If you are going to write the hydration enthalpy, Always remember that lithium is the 
the smallest one like this lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium okay but if anyone ask you what is the size of this li plus na plus aqueous all are in aqueous solution okay these are in aqueous solution then the size i'm going to write the order of the size for this as well as this so the order of size here will be li plus greater than na plus k plus rb plus and cs plus will be the smallest one in aqueous solution why it is so because uh, this is the size and it is also the order of hydration enthalpy less uh, a smaller size surrounded by more water hydration enthalpy increases and you know what happens the water molecule will uh, will have force of attraction basically lithium will be stretched with water and it will be larger largest one among these alkali metals are you getting my point shahid yes. now what happens since lithium will be surrounded by more and more water it will become heavy and if it will be heavy it cannot move uh, faster than sodium and in case of sodium and potassium you can see sodium is smaller so it will have uh, it will be surrounded by more water and it will again be heavy than potassium and hence it cannot move faster than so uh, potassium so it will have lesser molar conductivity than potassium okay yes sir. okay please do this question number five very easy first you need to calculate the molar conductivity of this h a let me know if you're not able to solve this any answer very good tarif madiha and shahid oh madiha you have got it very good shahid what about you are you able to solve this have you revised before the class you are a little bit low in this class and why it is so
okay but why okay moving to the next question Please do this. Very easy question. Yes, yes. Any answer for this question number? Very easy question. Very good, Shahid. Yes, yes, 96,500. Uh, if uh, in the question, if it is given, then you can use this. You should use this. Very good, Madhya. <clears throat> uh, Tarif, any answer? Yes, sir. No, sir. Did you say no? Sir, yes, you can use. Okay, I didn't. Okay, got it. Very good. The answer is C. Please go for this question number 13. Let me know the answer.
<coughs> see very good tharif so is the right answer so this is your db equation in which lambda c will be equal to lambda infinity minus b root c b is the constant is that clear everyone shahid you have studied this right madiha yes please do this question last question for today's class <clears throat> let me know if you're done with this the question is quite easy very easy you can use no stick question and then it is very very easy Any answer for this C? Very good, Harif. What about you, Madiha and Shahid? <coughs> yeah, Madiha. <coughs> let me know if you are facing any kind of problem in this are you done with this shahid <clears throat> so basically it's very easy e cell is equal to e not cell and there will be minus 2.303 RT upon NF log of product upon reactant. What it will be? Log of product upon <coughs> reactant. Nadia, very good. So you can easily do this product upon reactant. And what is product? You can see ZN plus 10, uh, product is according to this, you can write the reaction as well ZN plus CU plus 2 will give you zn plus 2 plus cu and product is this we cannot take this because it is in solid state 10 times so directly i'm going to write log 10 and e naught cell is given as 1.1 minus 2.303 rt what is n n you can see zn is moving from 0 to plus 2 so 2 into 96500 and log 10 has a value 1 so it will be as it is it will be cancelled and you just need to solve this, you'll be able to get this answer. 
to 1303 sorry the uh, f will be as it is as, as in the option you can see f is as it is 1.1 minus 2.303 rt upon nf n is 2 and f is as it is in the option you can see now you just need to calculate it and you will get option c is that clear everyone shahid okay so basically today uh, uh, this is it for today in the next class i will extend the class and i would like to tell you madhya how many chapters you have done uh, are you done with hello alkens yes sir. <clears throat> okay <clears throat> so uh, what about you